Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise in the house of God tonight. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost already here. Amen. Amen. We thank God that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. And there's a word from the Lord tonight. We honor the Lord. We honor Apostle Bruce, Lady Bruce, and the entire uh, Pure Gospel community family, to Bishop tonight and your church family. Thank God for such an awesome worship service. Amen? Amen. Amen. But we come now to the most important part of the apostolic service. That is the preaching of the teaching of the word of the Lord. And the man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. There is a word from the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. So I'm honored tonight. And thank God for portion of those that came from our Bethel community. We love you and we thank you for supporting uh, the woman of God tonight. This woman of God is, amen, the first lady of the Bethel Community Apostolic Church of Augusta, Georgia. She's also first lady of the Community Apostolic Fellowship of Churches International. Amen. 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 She loves the Lord. She's been saved since age 13. Feel with the Holy Ghost. Say amen. And she has a love for God and for the people of God. Amen. And she's the wife, amen, of one husband. Praise God. That's me. Amen. She's the mother of four beautiful children. Two of them are here tonight and one grandchild. And amen. She is, amen, an evangelist, a woman of God who's been called to the kingdom, as the program says, for such a time as this. Would you stand on your feet and help me welcome the woman of God to the pulpit tonight as I am so honored to introduce the song and present to others my wife, but most of all, God's servant, Evangelist Serena Butler. Greetings tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. 
You don't say the same thing to everybody else says. You don't do the same thing to everybody else does. There is something about you that draws men to say, what is this that you've got? And I really do want it. How many of us are ready to be these vessels of honor that God can use in these last and evil days? That's what God is calling the church to. See, I can come and tell you and give you another sermon and make you feel good. God don't want you feeling good right about now. God wants you to be doing your job. Tell your neighbor, he, he don't want you feeling good right now. He wants you to be working for the kingdom for such a time as this. Because the world is waiting on you. I said the world is waiting on you. The world is waiting on us. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask, I don't know, this is my, I have to laugh all the time because that's my oldest and my youngest. Amen. My oldest one, come on, Tanisha, and my baby. Amen. Amen. And, and I was going before the Lord on this week about what he wanted me to say to his people. I just have been so impressed in my heart to just tell the people of God that if there ever was a time that we really need to be about our Father's business, it really is now. If there ever was a time that we need to put aside our schisms and our isms and our, our disappointments and, and what we think it ought to be and how we think it ought to be, right now the only thing we really need to be is this season is kingdom minded. And the service, even the words that they said, call to the kingdom. Call to God's work, call to God's service, call to do the will of God, call to say yes to the Lord for your life. It is now. If there ever was a time that you need to put aside what you think or what you don't think and just say, you know what, Lord, what's your will for my life? God, what are you calling me to do in this kingdom? Who are you asking me to go to and tell them about salvation? Never see a generation that doesn't tell nobody about salvation. Never see a generation that don't tell nobody how they must be saved. Never see a generation that don't bring nobody to church no more. Get in their cars and drive the church by themselves. Nobody's in the back seat. Nobody's on the side seat. None of the kids in the neighborhood, you ain't even going to ask them no more. Baby, ask your mama, can you go to church? Because we have become a, 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 a very lazy group of saints. But we're not realizing that the time that God is really calling, he's saying, tell my people, come on. It's time to come up to the next level. I can preach you happy. I can tell you this. I can tell you that. But God is saying, it's time for you to be a servant. Yeah. See, it's time for you to be a servant. We got enough kings. We got enough people.